Um, just know that when we measure air quality or do air quality testing, that we're measuring one moment in time. And usually it's a very small moment in time at a very specific location. And so that kind of testing can be relevant and it can give us a lot of information or it can completely miss the boat and give us nothing. So, I'm Cheryl Seco, avoiding water damage and mold and toxins is my specialty. My website's avoidingmold.com and today I'm going to talk about measuring air quality. So air quality uh, and air quality testing. So air quality has become a big topic uh, as we're people are wearing masks more and more and, and worried about air quality. Um, dust testing, conversely, is basically testing what was in the air that has fallen out of the air, which can also be great and can do good things and give us good information to cause to be flawed. There's pros and cons to both, and I'm gonna make that another video. But for right now, I'm gonna talk about air quality testing. And so it is one moment in time, and so you want you to know that. And so we want that to be the best moment in time that we can be. And so the two things I would suggest for that is to definitely, if someone's gonna do air testing, to do 15 liters of air for 10 minutes. That's the minimum, that's the recommended amount for clean air. So assuming that your air is clean and it's not cloudy and super dusty, then that would be the right amount. And you would do the same thing outside. So you could test and compare inside and outside. And this of course assumes that your windows have been closed for a long period of time so that you're actually testing the indoor air. I would also suggest that you do an an inspection or an evaluation. You can use the tips that I share on my website or in my courses and online videos and webinars to determine where you might have suspicious areas and test the air in those areas. Because remember, you're gonna be testing for this short time, which is hopefully gonna be at least 10 minutes, and you're gonna test in one place. And so where should that one place be? Or maybe you test three or four places, but you wanna pick places that are likely to catch what you're looking to catch. Because if you get a negative result with air testing, that means that you just didn't catch mold at that day, at that time, in that location. It does not mean that there isn't mold in the area. So another tip is that if you smell a musty smell, even if it's intermittent, there's mold somewhere. That musty smell is coming from mold and bacteria, which is always originating from water. So if you smell a musty smell consistently, even if it's on and off, I'm not sure you need to do air testing. I would start focusing on the next steps to figure out why. And the next step is always gonna be checking humidity levels and trying to figure out if you can determine if one room or one part of your home has higher humidity than others. And sometimes it can be significant. I've seen bathrooms where the bathroom is 70% humidity, relative humidity, and other rooms are 30. Uh, and then that's a clue that there's a reason that that's happening and, there, and we need to determine what. And in the particular case that I'm thinking of, there was a moisture leak that was behind the wall and actually in this case in the floor as well from the toilet seal that was storing a lot of water in insulation. Giant wet blanket that just kept trying and trying to dry and was raising the humidity in that room. So high humidity is always a sign, it's a clue that there's moisture damage and moisture damage problems somewhere nearby. It doesn't happen on its own. So check your humidity. And if you see mold, so if you, if you smell mold and musty smells, I'm not sure it's worth testing. In fact, I probably wouldn't. If you see something that looks like mold and know that mold can be any, lots of different colors. It could be black, green, orange, purple. It can look white like lint. Any of those things might be mold. And if you see things and the conditions are right that that could be mold, then I'm not sure you need to do a mold test. Some people like to do mold testing because it convinces people who maybe need more convincing. Just know that the opposite can also happen is that you can get a negative result, which is a fault, what I would call a false negative because it just means at that moment in time. So the best way to do ear testing would be to do lots of tests in many different locations to try to catch that moment in time when you're gonna catch the mold in the air. But no, sometimes the, the time, there's air pressure differentials which changes how air moves through our buildings. And so we can have certain times of the day or even just 
the way the wind blows that you can have moisture or mold spores coming from inside of a wall or a crawl space or a basement or an attic that only happen intermittently. And maybe they only happen at night. And that might be why some people are affected, but the testing doesn't show it. So there's a lot of nuances in this and it's a very complicated topic. If you see mold or suspect mold, if you have high humidity, if you smell musty smells, I would skip the testing part and go on to resolutions and evaluations to find out why. But if you do need to get testing done and you decide that's something worthwhile pursuing, remember 15 liters of air for 10 minutes in a clean space is the recommended for air testing. I'll talk more about dust testing and ERMI testing in another video. Like me at on my Facebook page, Cheryl Seco Architect. Check out my website share at avoidingmold.com and uh, get on my newsletter list and get some of the freebies that we have available. Check out my courses and my webinars. There's a lot of good information there with pictures and I do my best to make all of this as clear as possible and I've gotten great feedback. So I'm, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, hit subscribe. For more free information on safe building, avoiding mold, and water damage, visit avoidingmold.com.